Okay, hi all, welcome back. I'm just going to do a quick recap on the first um, lesson I just taught you on levers. Okay, so uh, off the top of your head, please remember what um, rhyme or saying we use to remember each classification of lever. If you thought this, okay, you are correct. F equals one, two, three. All right, so first class lever, fulcrum needs to be in the middle. Low and effort on either sides. Okay, we use the nodding of the head, uh, sorry, the, the movement of the head forwards and backwards in order to depict this classification of lever. Second class, the load is in the middle. Okay, FLE equals one, two, three. Fulcrum and effort are on either sides of the load. This is an advantage, okay, because the effort arm is always longer or greater than the load arm. Okay, so the distance between the load arm. Is greater than the effort as shorter than the effort arm, so therefore it's always a mechanical advantage. Okay, so remember effort divided by load. Okay, we use the uh, long jump as the example. Okay, the takeoff of the board. Uh, third class lever we used as the bicep curl as the third class lever. Remember effort is in the middle. Okay, with attachment of the tendon onto the uh, radius and ulna. Okay, and then the humerus here, so in line with the fulcrum. So, with the load in the hand, we have a third class lever. The load arm is longer than the effort arm. That tells us that it's a disadvantage. Okay, remember, FLE equals 1, 2, 3, E is in the middle. It's a third class lever. In this one, um, quick talk, I'm going to go over the exam questions as didn't get time in the previous one. All right, so if we look here, question two in the exam, the image shows a rugby player throwing a ball during a line-out. All right, so using the image name, so it's asked us here to name, sketch, and label the lever system. Okay, so it's asking us to draw the actual lever. We're not going to actually draw every part of this person's arm okay we're not going to draw the fat tissue or anything like that we're going to keep it nice and simple so examiner show we show the examiner exactly what we're at what we're talking about here okay operating at the elbow so it's even told you the fulcrum okay during the movement so we need to break this question down okay so the fulcrum which is in the shape of a triangle we always keep it simple so the triangle is the fulcrum we need a rigid bar for our lever in this case, every rigid bar or lever within the body is a bone, and every fulcrum is a joint. So the joint is the elbow. The fulcrum is going to be what? Clearly, the load has to be the ball. Okay. For those of you who just answered, yes, the load is going to. Uh, sorry, the, um, the 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 rigid bar is actually going to be the radius and ulna. Okay. The fulcrum is at the elbow. Okay. So where this elbow is here, the fulcrum. The fulcrum, okay, you need to think a bit more anatomically here. With regards to um, the effort, the effort arm is going to come from where? Well, the effort is going to come from where? It's going to come from the triceps. So this movement here, when we remember, okay, is extension at the elbow. All right, so this man's flexed his elbow here and he's extending in order to propel the rugby ball in the lineup. Okay. For those of you who see on the tiptoes, please ignore that. Okay, it's asking at the elbow. If it was at the toes, okay, it would be a second class leader, so it's not. Okay. So if the elbow, okay, and it's contracting the triceps here, concentrically contracting the tri triceps in order to extend the arm for the ball. The triceps need to connect to the raised and older by a tendon. So if you remember back in year nine, muscles connect to bones by tendons. Okay, the tendon does not run through the joint, as would be very painful. It runs around the joint or over it. Okay, so in the middle we're going to have a fulcrum. To the right of that, okay, cut up. So we have a fulcrum here. And then to the right of it, we're going to have our effort. Okay, the effort is going to go down because the triceps are pulling that direction. All right, and contracting that direction. So the arrow will be facing down. And the load, the square representing the ball, okay, is going to be on the left. 
Okay, those of you who don't understand, okay, if you look at your elbow yourself, okay, the tendon from the triceps runs from the tricep um, itself over the elbow joint. If you um, flex your el uh, arm right now on your elbow, okay, and it connects at the back of your forearm, okay, onto the bones, the raised knob itself. So that tendon, okay, is on that side of the bone, of the joint, sorry. So it should look something similar to this, where we have the fulcrum there. The effort, again, like I said, is pointed downwards, and the resistance is the square, okay, the ball. Always known as the load, either way. So you need to, do, to establish that it was a first-class lever. Remember, F leaks on two. F is in the middle, so it's a first-class lever. Okay, you get one mark saying it's positioned in the middle. So if that drawing there is in the middle, fantastic, you've got a mark. And for stating it's first class lever, brilliant. Two out of three already. And then just labeling the lever system itself where the ball is the resistance and the effort there is on that side. Okay, fantastic. Three out of three. Just to reiterate, fulcrum is the hinge joint of the elbow. The effort is the, is the bite of the triceps and the pulling of the tendon. Okay. And the resistance is the ball, and that creates that counter move, that movement there to push that ball up and out and extend the arms. Okay, I hope that makes sense. If not, please re, re go over this recording. Okay, second example, um, exam question. Explain using a practical example what a mechanical advantage is. This is a very, very rare question. I think if they do put it in your exam, it is extremely mean. Okay, this typically is an A level question. But all we need to know is it's the effort arm divided by resistance arm. Okay. If I you stick to this question here, this is the most popular question that comes up for levers in the exam. Okay, they give you an example, or you come up with the example yourself. Okay, so for this first class lever, we have a rugby lineout. Okay, where the player is throwing the ball. It could be a person jumping a long jump. It could be someone on the tiptoes playing a free throw. It could even be just as simple as a bicep curl. Uh, for example, in the previous test, you saw a gentleman raising the bicep curl in, your, in year nine, and you're asked to identify the relationship between muscle and bones. It could be the difference where they ask you what type of lever is occurring here at this movement. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you all. Um, if you need any help, please email myself or any of the PE teachers, okay, um, and happily go through this with you.